Have you ever been wished happy journey in your traveling somewhere? Yes. Yes. Always. Yes. Of course. Even I have wished a lot of times. But nobody wished me once when I was traveling to Bangalore. Of course, that was a very sudden plan and I didn't tell many people. My dear Toastmasters and beloved guests, that was the first time I am traveling from Chennai to Bangalore. So I called up my brother who stays in Bangalore and intimated him about my plan. I started from Tarai Pakam. Unfortunately, that day I took a long trip to CMBT as I had to meet a friend near Skywalk. And as I was waiting for a CMBT bus near Skywalk, my phone beeped, battery low. <laughs> so I thought I have to call my brother because I knew only I knew only one thing that my brother stays in Electronic City. So I called as a precaution, I called my brother and asked him to send the address in Electronic City so that in the worst case that might help me. And I kept I kept the call. I was waiting for CMBT bus as well as my brother's SMS. After five minutes, I got one. That is my brother's SMS. It read, L Rank City. That's it. I asked him to send the address in Electronic City. He <laughs> said Electronic City. The two are all capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> that is the time I got another beat from my phone. Battery critically low. <laughs> so I could not afford one more call to my brother. So I thought somehow I have to charge my phone before the bus comes. So I started searching for charge boards in nearby shops. Actually, there was a wine shop nearby that bus stop. So I, but it was too crowded, I could not see anything through. But beside that, there was a snack shop. As expected, beside every wine shop, there should be a snack shop. I looked at the shopkeeper, but I felt a bit awkward and hesitant to approach him. Because I was the guy who knows all the languages other than Tamil. But the shopkeeper seems like, like a guy who knows no language other than Tamil. So with a bit of hesitation, I approached the shopkeeper. As expected, he immediately extended his hand for money. I thought he understood my situation and I kept my phone charger in his hand. He got pissed and he looked angrily at me. What is this? What do you want? I told him, I want to charge the phone. What? There are no charge ports here. Go, go. I replied. Now nah, there is a port now. I pointed towards the empty plug port in the shop. This time he got furious and looked top to down with a disgusting look. I told Anna, please, please, emergency, serious, urgent. I told all the words he can understand. But, told, yo, Anna, do something. How many times I have to tell you? And he told many other beautiful words in Tamil. <laughs> of course, even I did understand few words, but I kept it, I managed to keep a face that I did not understand anything. <laughs> I was depressed and dejected. I scolded myself for not checking my phone battery. And I thought I have to retrospect my self-respect. <laughs> so I could not stand there anymore and walk back to the bus stop with a lot of frustration. After a while, I got the CMBT bus and I reached there in 30 minutes. Instead of searching for my Bangalore bus, they were searching for charging ports. In fact, there are few charge ports over there, but at each port, there was a huge crowd fighting around. And at one charge board, there was a long queue. Out of the blue, I saw one empty socket. After watching it, I was so overjoyed and I felt like current India team winning the World Cup. <laughs> so I ran there as fast as I can. So I connected the charge port and I connected the phone to it and switched it on. No response in my phone. Still, I disconnect the phone and disconnect the charger, adjust the charger and again switch it on. Still, no response in my phone. After all possible adjustments, I finally came to know that that port is not working. <laughs> Meanwhile, there was a crowd surrounded me. I thought, did I do something wrong now? But later I understood that they have come to charge their phone after watching me using it. <laughs> I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. As my bus was getting started, with a lot of dilemma and ambiguity in my mind, I got into the bus. 
As bus was moving on, slowly all passengers were falling asleep. Was just observing them how cool, calm they are sleeping. I was so jealous about that. That is the even I started getting drowsy after looking at them. That is the time I got one final beep from my phone, and my phone got switched off. So after that point, I could not sleep at all, and with that sleepless night, I reached Atlantic City also. With the big battle going in my mind, I got them from the bus. I didn't know what to do now. I was just staring at all the buildings in Bangalore. Suddenly, somebody tapped my shoulder from behind. I turned that side. That was my brother. <laughs> my sadness vanished in a moment like a stone thrown into deep valley. I forgot all the things what went on so far and felt overjoyed. Even though nobody wished me happy journey, that was indeed a happy journey with a happy ending for me that I could still remember each of it. So my dear friends, in, my, in life also, you might come across a lot of hurdles and struggles, but life goes on. This may be a small example, but there are big moments in life where we may be at the center of crossroads and thinking about a further move. Take chances and follow your heart. Maybe your destination will be waiting for you with open arms. Over to you.